In this video, we're going to be discussing how to convert between metric and customary unit systems. In this first question, we're talking about gallons and liters. Gallons is a unit of measure in the customary system, and liters is a unit of measure in the metric system. To answer these types of questions, I like to use a proportion um, because you're comparing the ratio between uh, gallons of water and liters of water. So over here you see my proportion set up G representing gallons and L representing liters. So we're taking the unit conversion they give us gallons over liters and we're going to set that equal to our new calculated information gallons to liters. When you set up your proportions you need to make sure that your labels match. What I mean by that is that you've got G's both in the numerator and L's both in the denominator. Actually, liters are usually represented with a capital L, so we'll change that here to a capital L. Okay, we're ready to go. It says, an aquarium tank holds 91 gallons of water. How much is this in liters? Use the following conversion. One gallon is equal to 3.8 liters. So for every one gallon, we have 3.8 liters. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our unit conversion and we're going to set that up on, going to take our conversion and set it up on one side of the proportion. So here I have one gallon over 3.8 liters. And if you see what I mean, I just put gallons in the numerator and liters in the denominator, just like our shell of an example has over here. I think it's most helpful for you to put your labels in to make sure that you get your numbers in the correct positions. On the other side, so unit, your conversion between gallons and liters is on this side, and then on this side is the additional piece of information they've given you, 91 gallons. The 91 gallons is going to go in the numerator because we already placed gallons in the numerator over here as well. And then our unknown number of liters is what we're going to be solving for. So for every one gallon, 3.8 liters is equal to 91 gallons for our unknown number of liters. Okay. And then from there, with your proportion, you can do cross products. Remember that your cross products are always the same in a proportion. So with your calculator, hopefully handy. If not, pause the video and go grab that. Using your calculator, we're going to take 91 times 3.8 along this diagonal and we get 345.8 and remember those cross products are always the same so this diagonal here 1 times something is also 345.8 so we're looking for what number sorry 1 times something that equals 345 and 8 tenths and 1 times 345.8 is 345.8. So our answer here for a number of liters is 345. Point, sorry, um, decimal point is in the wrong spot. 345.8 liters was what they were asking us for. 345.8 liters. A second approach to this one in this particular problem, um, we could just multiply if you can make that connection. If one gallon is 3.8 liters, then 91 gallons is going to, each gallon is 3.8 liters. So we would take um, 91 times 3.8 and multiply that out. You will still end up with your 345 and 8 tenths liters. Okay. Let's take a look at a second example. This one says a boy weighs 200 excuse me, 22.5 kilograms, and it asks how much does he weigh in pounds. So he hasn't gained or lost weight, we're just conver converting between one system and the other, metric and customary. This time it starts us off in the metric system, kilograms, and moves us into pounds, the customary unit, excuse me, the customary system. Use the following conversion, one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. Okay. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. We're going to use that unit conversion 
we're going to use that conversion and set it up on one side of our proportion. Kilograms and pounds is equal to kilograms and pounds. As long as your labels match, like here we have kilograms both in the numerator, so they match. Pounds both in the denominator, so they match. You can also put pounds in the numerator on both sides and then kilograms on both sides in the denominator, as long as those labels match. Technically, in any proportion, there are eight ways to set up the proportion. Four of them will get you a right answer and four of them will get you an incorrect answer. But in this case, if we make sure our labels match, we are always going to be able to be confident that we will have a correct answer. So we're going to put our conversion on one side, kilograms, one kilogram over 2.2 pounds is equal to the other value they gave us is 22.5 kilograms, which is going to go on the numerator so our labels match. Again, make sure you get those labels into your proportion so that way you can know with confidence that you're setting it up correctly. So we have kilograms to pounds is equal to kilograms to pounds. And then we're going to use our cross products to solve. So the diagonal that has both numbers with your calculator, we're going to take 22.5 times 2.2 and we get 49.5. Both diagonals will always be the same in cross products so over here this diagonal is also 49.5. So to complete out <clears throat> this diagonal for our answer 1 times something is 49.5 which is just itself, right? 1 times 49.5 is equal to 49.5. So the number of pounds is 49 and a half pounds. Again, on this particular problem, we could have taken the 22 pound, 22.5 kilograms and multiplied by the 2.2 pounds. If you have any additional questions after you've given this a try, make sure you ask.